I would say if you've ever wanted to have a cup of coffee while you're descending down the gnarliest line you can find, the Firebird might be your bike. It is so composed when it's at speed that it just hauls. You can literally have a cup of coffee while you're riding your bike. That's how stable it is. Forget about it, man. This thing pedals well, too. Good morning, guys. Another beautiful day out here riding mountain bikes, and today we've got the 2017 Pivot Firebird. This thing's a beast. Not a bike I normally ride. My trail system doesn't really cater to 170 mil bikes, but I'm pretty excited to ride this thing. I'm about 20 minutes into my ride, and most of the guys tuning into this video um, probably go down some gnarly, <laughs> pretty gnarly trails. And you're probably wondering how this bike climbs. Man, it pedals really very good. I didn't think it would pedal like this. I'm only, I've only gone about a thousand vertical feet, so it's hard to tell, but so far it feels good. It feels really good. So I picked this bike up from the guys over at Go Ride, Draper, Utah. And they've got the biggest selection of bikes. It's unbelievable, but um, they got me set up on this Firebird this morning and uh, I'm really excited to give it a go. Um, I, got, I got a chance to see their demo fleet in there and they've got a ton of bikes. So if you're coming into Utah and need a demo bike, uh, call Go Ride. They'll tell you where to go and put you on the right bike. Really great group of guys down there. If you live here locally, head in there Head in there and check out their inventory. They got a lot of really nice bikes, man. Man, I gotta say, I'm surprised at how well this thing climbs. I haven't gotten a single pedal strike yet. These DW links, these pivots stay pretty high in their travel, um, which is great. They pedal well and keep you from dragging your feet. Pretty nice. Okay, we're almost done climbing. Been climbing for about 45 minutes. Probably 1,500 vertical feet of climbing so far. And man, I just gotta say it again, I'm surprised at how, how well the Firebird climbs. Um, if, you, if you've ridden the Switchblade in the 29er version, I, I would say it probably doesn't climb quite as well as the Switchblade, but man, it's really close. You get a little bit of wallow, just a little bit. I've got that, that shock in the firm setting, so there's an open, and a firm setting on it. And man, it just climbs really well. I'm on a medium and uh, I'm 5'8". Feels good even though on the computer, on the numbers, it says the small's probably more my size. Anyway, we're almost to the top here. Let's get up there and see how this thing goes downhill. All right. This Firebird's gonna rally down Jacob's Ladder here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh man, you can pick any stupid line you want with this thing. Dang. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is soft. <laughs> oh man, that suspension is bottomless. Holy cow. Oh, and it's just so stable. Man, I don't even feel like I'm riding a bike. Oh my goodness. Oh, shoot. That is smooth. I'm trying to think about how this compares to the Switchblade. And man, the biggest thing I noticed so far is the parts where I'd feel a little bit sketchy on a Switchblade, 
This just is so composed. Unbelievable. That is such a difference, man. Okay, I'm spun out right now. I'm completely spun out. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh. Oh my gosh, that thing is so smooth. Man, I really don't even feel like I just did Jacob's Ladder. Normally that is so rowdy. That was like a walk in the park. Holy cow. That was insane. This bike is so composed. I am normally hanging on for dear life on that trail on any bike and that was just like sitting on the couch chilling wow this thing is unbelievable okay well we saw how it did on the steep stuff with some a little bit more gnarly terrain now we're getting down to the more smooth easy, easy trails that i usually ride really excited to see how nimble it is See if it gets around these twisties and tight turns. For those of you who've never seen my channel, welcome. We do bike reviews. For those of you who've been around since the beginning, thanks for sticking around still. Lots more bike reviews to come. Let's see how this thing does on the agility course today. That leans over just as good as any bike. Oh man, this thing is pretty fast. <laughs> and the dirt is just perfect today too. It's been raining just a teeny bit. Oh, feels good. I don't have any complaints. <laughs> oh man. Have I been wrong all this time? It's starting to rain on us here. So we better wrap this review up. Man, this bike is so composed. And you know what? It's still a lot of fun on these kind of easier, more mellow trails. It really is. I, I thought it would just numb the trail down completely. I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah, really composed. Really composed on the steep, gnarly downhills, but still lively and agile and fun on these more mellow trails. I am really surprised at how fun this bike is. And it doesn't even feel like you're going as fast because it just quiets everything down so much. Man, what a fun bike. As far as the conclusion goes, I'll get home and think about it, wrap it up a little bit, but it pedals really well. Surprised at how well it pedals. It descends like, this is crazy. It's serious, I've never ridden a bike like this. So composed up there on top of Jacob's Ladder. And it can handle, obviously, a lot rougher stuff than that. These are just the trails I have. And uh, man, if I had trails that were more gnarly than this, I would, uh, this bike's incredible. Really great. Downsides, the only downside I can say so far for me, and it's not really a downside of the bike, honestly, is it's probably just too big of a bike for my trails, it quiets down the trail a lot, which is really great if you wanna go really fast, 
and have it be really composed. But, you know, I like to have some feedback in my feet and in my hands. And uh, I like that feedback to tell me, you know, how fast I'm going and, you know, so you don't feel the trail quite as much. That's my only negative on the bike. I don't even know if that's a negative for anybody who's buying this bike is going to be riding trails a lot more gnarly than me. Hey guys, just got back from my ride on the 2017 Pivot Firebird. This thing is lights out fast the entire time and still pedals really well. Um, that's the biggest surprise for me is I couldn't believe how well it pedaled for such a big enduro bike. In fact, this, this is a lot of guys who got downhill bikes you might be putting them up for sale because this thing is amazing on the downhill. So composed and stable at speed. Even when I got down on the tighter, uh, more twisty turns, it was still really, um, I don't want to use the word flickable, but very nimble and agile, quick side to side, a lot of fun. Um, if I had a complaint, it would be that it kind of quieted down my trails a little bit too much. Um, my trails aren't very gnarly though. So most of the guys buying this bike are going to be doing some crazy steep gnarly stuff that I probably didn't have access today, um, to today on my, on my ride. Um, it pedals well for 6,000 bucks. It's a hard package to beat. Um, I'd say go out and give it a demo. I'm going to say it one last time. It pedals really well. Um, probably almost as good as the switchblade, honestly. If you're not doing tons of climbing, um, you know, more than two or 3,000 vert in your ride, you might not even feel the difference. Uh, it's a beautiful bike too. I, I like the paint job. So hope you guys liked the video today. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. That's how people find me on YouTube and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. Thanks guys.